Hey everyone, I'm here with a video specifically intended for new Mythic Legions collectors. Whether you are just got one or two Mythic Legions and you're kind of going down that rabbit hole and getting into the line and looking to get deeper, or whether you've heard about Mythic Legions and you haven't taken the plunge yet and you want some more information on how to get started, this video is for you. So my name is Jeremy Gerard. I'm a Mythic Legions collector and customizer. I also have the privilege of being the webmaster for Four Horsemen Studios. That means that everything you see at the official website, sourcehorseman.com, is content that I help bring you. I've actually been into the Mythic Legions line since the very beginning. Since the Kickstarter back in early 2015, I've been part of the line. I backed that line then and was just a huge fan uh, collecting it, customizing it. I gained the attention of Four Horsemen Studios because of my work, and I've been lucky enough that I can now do work officially with the studio, not only on the website, but on my show here, being an ambassador for the line. As part of that role, um, I like to talk to people new and old about Mythic Legions. And because the line continues to grow and I see lots of new fans coming in, uh, I figured I'd put together this video with five tips that I think are really, really helpful for those new Mythic Legions fans so they can get into the line and enjoy it to its full potential. Okay, so let's get started with tip number one, which is get educated. Now, I mentioned that the line started back in 2015. So by that, if you do the math, it's not a very old line when you compare it to like G.I. Joe or Transformers or Star Wars. Compared to them, this is a very young line. But a lot has happened in that period of time since 2015. A number of figures, a number of waves have come out and the, the community and the line itself has continued to grow. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is get some understanding about the line itself. And the best place to do that is the website that I just mentioned, the official website, which is sourcehorseman.com. This is the website right here. This is the official site. If you go here, it's got a ton of information about Four Horsemen Studios, but specific to Mythic Legions, this first button here, we've got that Mythic Legions tab. There's a number of drop downs there. There's a number of information, starting with Mythic Legions 101. Check this page out. It's really the history of Mythic Legions. It's kind of everything you need to know at a high level under one particular page. You're also on this page going to see links to the waves released. So this is going to be all of the different series that have come out so far. And you look at this list and it may seem a little bit daunting. A lot has come out so far, but a lot of these figures are still fairly readily available. On that note, a great thing to check out is the checklist. So the Mythic Legions checklist, this is every figure that has come out in the Mythic Legions line. And you'll see there's a great variety, everything from, you know, orcs and trolls to goblins to knights to gladiators, dwarves, elves, you name it. There are a ton of wonderful characters and character types here. Little something for everybody. So that's some information where it will kind of let you know what's happened in the Mythic Legions line, what the history is, you know, what the lore of Mythic Legions and the story behind some of these characters and what characters have been available so far. There's also this section that says updates, which is regularly updated content on news, videos, podcasts, and certainly the blog. The blog itself is something that we publish every single week with new content, and it's everything from features on the different races that are involved in Mythic Legions to, uh, you know, profiles on prominent members of the Mythic Legions community and customizers and artists and so forth. And there's also a section here for frequently asked questions. So a lot of the questions that you might have as a new Mythic Legions fan will probably be covered in this section. There's even an article called, I'm new to Mythic Legions, where do I begin, that you might find helpful as well. So get educated. There's a lot of information out there, especially for a young line. But the great thing is between the official website or you know, channels like this, my channel here on YouTube, Mythic Conversations, I share lots of information about the line through videos like this one or through my weekly show. I have a show every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern called Mythic Conversations that I talk all about Mythic Legions. 
These are ways that you can start to get educated on the line. Number two, and this is an important one, set some realistic goals. So if you look at that Mythic Legions checklist, you look at all those figures, there's certainly going to be some in there that you're going to say, I want this one, I want this one, I want that one. The reality is when you start doing the research and seeing what those sell for in the secondary market, you're likely going to see some high prices, one, two, three hundred dollars and more sometimes for some of these older, rarer figures that may put you off. And a lot of people that I hear that are afraid to jump into Mythic Legions, that is the reason because there's been so much release so far. Some of the older figures are so expensive that it seems just insurmountable. It's not. Let me explain why. First off, Mythic Legions is no different than any other collectible toy line in this regard. Any toy line, if you try to jump, jump in five, six years into the line, you're probably going to have to pay a premium for some of those older releases, whether we're talking about Marvel Legends, uh, you know, Transformers Masterpiece, Mezco, any of these lines have pieces that are fairly expensive if you miss out on, on the when they were first released five, six years ago. It's no different. The great thing about Mythic Legions is they regularly re-release some of those older, long sold out figures as part of what they call All-Stars. Not only do they re-release them, they actually let the fans choose which figures are going to be re-released. There's a fan vote where they select the figures they'd like to see included, and then a number of those are added based on the highest vote getters to an all-star wave. And figures that were selling for $200 on the secondary market are suddenly reissued and they're available through pre-order. I'm going to talk about pre-orders in a moment. But back to this idea of setting realistic goals, everyone wants to collect them all. And you can see the display behind me. I've been in since the beginning, so I've been able to collect them all. If you're getting in now, that is going to be hard. Not only is it going to be pricey because some of them are expensive, but there are some that are just produced in such low numbers because at first the community was a lot smaller than it is today. So some of those older releases were just produced in much smaller numbers than the newer series are being released in. So the idea of collecting them all is going to be challenging. Doesn't mean you can't do it. And I'm going to talk about that towards the end of this video as well but set some goals. There's a lot of new figures coming out. There's a lot of figures that have come out somewhat recently that are still readily available for retail or very close to retail. You can build up a really cool, really diverse collection of Mythic Legions figures right from the start. So set some goals. If you want some of those older gems, some of those Grail type items, set some goals for them. They are attainable if you're patient. I mentioned pre-orders. One thing to understand about the Mythic Legions line is really the way that it is solicited is through a pre-order process. When Four Horsemen Studios uh, solicits a new line, a new wave, I should say, they do it through pre-order. And what they do is they say, okay, for this period of time, these are going to be available on our website. The website is storehorseman.com. And if you go to the official website, Source Horseman, there's a shop link up at the top. You click that, it brings you to the official website. When they are running a pre-order, you can buy those figures in the retail prices, the cheapest you're going to pay. They're about $35 for a standard figure, $50 for a deluxe figure, an ogre figure will be like $55, $60. The big giant trolls, which are these massive beastly type characters, will be like $110. Those are typical retail prices for the line. When you buy it during the pre-order, whether you buy on day one or on the last day of the pre-order window, you're guaranteed to get those figures. You don't have to worry about them selling out. That's wonderful. Low, low stress. The downside is you do pay for them up front and it takes anywhere from six to 12 months, barring any unforeseen delays, to get them actually in hand. Now, once the pre-order period is done, there are a number of retailers that offer them for a slight upcharge. A lot of them out there. Um, my partner, Joe Viteri, and I, we actually run a store called legionshop.com. We offer, in addition to a lot of really cool third-party add-on items to customize Mythic Legions, we also offer pre-orders for Mythic Legions official toys, the same way that a lot of other retailers do out there. Um, that's a great option as well. If you missed out on a pre-order, 
that's another way that you can get them at still very reasonable prices. Get in on the pre-orders. Again, people that say, I don't want to get into this line because so much has happened already. The pre-orders are a way that you can start building up a really, really cool collection of figures at some really, really good prices. Okay, four, join the community. One of the coolest things about Mythic Legions is the community of fans that have risen up around it. The official fan community of Mythic Legions is called the Mythic Legions Cabal. It is a Facebook group. Now, I know a lot of people don't like Facebook for whatever reason, and that's fine. There's other options for you as well. But if you do want to join that Facebook group, it's a really simple thing. There's some questions you fill out. Don't get intimidated by the questions. The questions say things like, you know, how many Mythic Legions do you own? Which Mythic Legions figure is your favorite? Don't feel like if your answer is, I own zero Mythic Legions, they're not going to let you in. Absolutely. It's not there to be elitist or to keep people out. It's the questions are there to prevent people that have no idea what Mythic Legions is from trying to get into the group. The reality is, Facebook has an algorithm where they they kind of, you know, put groups in front of other people saying, oh, you're in this, this toy group, you might like this one as well. And people will just say, yeah, I'll join, I'll join. That's not what this group is about. They want people that genuinely are interested in the line. So if you fill out that survey, those questions, and you say, I have zero mythic legions, you go to the website to get educated, and you pick one that you really like, and it says, why do you want to join the cabal? And you say, I'm interested in learning more about this line. Yes, I approve the rules. Yes, I agree to follow the rules, which is basically just not being a jerk. You're going to get into the cabal, and it's a really fun community. There's a lot of stuff to see there. Um, again, the line has a real like strong customizing uh, community around it. A lot of people like to take these figures, swap their parts around, customize them, add third-party parts. There's a lot of customization and a lot of photos of that on the cabal, but there's also great people that are willing to help out new fans. I've seen a lot of fans get into the cabal and you don't want to jump in right away. When you join the community, you don't want to come in and your first post be like, oh, I'm looking for all these rare figures and I want to pay bottom dollar for them. That's unrealistic. Think about it this way. If you walked into a party and you had never been to the party, this is the first time you've been invited, and the minute you walk through the door, you start yelling about things that you want before you kind of get the vibe of the party and figure out who's who, you're probably not going to be welcome back to a part, that party in the future, right? Um, you need to get in there. You need to kind of join the community. Share some pictures. You know, if, if, if you're not into Mythic Legions yet, comment on pictures. Join the community, be part of the conversation. And you can certainly have some posts out there. If you are looking for some of these rarities, go ahead and make a post of that. But be realistic. If these figures are selling for $200 and you put up a post saying you want to pay $35 bucks for it, probably not going to happen. That being said, I've seen some amazing deals happen on the Cabal. I've seen some amazing people, the community, help out new fans, help out old fans. So joining that community is one of the most enjoyable parts of this toy line. You're going to make some great friends. You're going to make some great connections. You're going to see some really, really cool toys. Okay? Mythic Legions Cabal, if the Facebook's not your thing, there's other options as well. Again, something like this. Join me here on Wednesday nights at 7.30 for Mythic Conversations. You'll be part of the group that people are talking about Mythic Legions, people are asking questions, we're having conversation. I have guests on from the Mythic Legions community. Even just being involved in something like that is joining the group. Um, I mentioned my friend Joe, my partner Joe, that we run Legion Shop with. We also have a convention every single year called Legions Con. It was live a couple years ago. Last year it had to be virtual. This year we're hoping that it'll be a hybrid. We'll have a live component and a virtual. Join Legions Con, be part of that community, be part of that conversation. It's a ton of fun. Last piece, last bit of advice, number five, be patient and have fun. Remember, that's what this is about, okay? But you gotta be patient. This is not the kind of line that you're gonna get into and within two weeks, you're gonna have a complete collection. Just unrealistic. 
if you are patient, if you set those goals, you set those expectations, you figure out which figures you really want to hunt down, you will have a chance to get them. Whether it's on the secondary market where you might pay a little bit, whether it's through a really cool trade, maybe you have a toy line that you're getting out of and you're going to trade some of those you know, cool pieces for some cool Mythic Legions pieces. I see lots of people do that. Or whether you take advantage of an all-star wave and a new figure, an old figure gets re-released as a new version and then you can pick it up then. Set some goals, be patient, you will get some stuff. And in the meantime, those new figures that are coming out, those new pre-orders, you jump on those and before you know it, you're going to see those orders start rolling in. You grab some stuff from some of the secondary, uh, from some of the resellers, some of those stock of some new stuff that's come into the market recently. Your collection is going to start to build. And before you know it, you'll have this massive Mythic Legion display that people will just be super envious about because they're awesome figures. Once you get these things in hand and you play around with them, you swap their heads or whatever, it is a ton of fun. So <laughs> those are my tips. Um you know, the last thing I'll leave you with is if you are new to the Mythic Legions community, I just want to say welcome. We are super, super happy to have you here. I hope that you get these figures in hand. I hope you love them as much as I do. Hope you love the community in the line and everything about it as much as I do. That's it. If you enjoy this video, if you want to check out more again, if you're new, check out some of my other videos. You'll learn a lot more about the Mythic Legions line. Certainly give the video a like. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. Again, especially if you're new, you have some questions. That's what the comments are for. I check those comments out. I answer them. Be happy to answer those questions for you. Um, certainly subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Helps me out a lot. Until next time. Thanks for watching. I can't wait to see what you make.